After months of negotiating and arguing, the EU has finally shown unity and agreed as one on an embargo against Russian oil. Wait a minute, I'm hearing it's just a partial, not a total oil ban. And it's just against oil shipments by sea, not by pipeline. And it will be phased in over half a year or so, with caveats. Roughly 36% of the EU's total oil imports have, until now, come from Russia. Oil prices jumped yet again on the news of the EU oil embargo to over $120 a barrel and are forecast to go even higher. You see, oil is a valuable commodity with a finite supply. OSCE and the UAE have both warned that there is no substitute for Russian oil. The EU is voluntarily giving up a stable, plentiful, and close supply of oil and trading it for an unstable, distant, more expensive supply of oil, inevitably largely from the Middle East. Saudi and the other Gulf states will benefit from predatory prices. The EU technocrats proudly proclaim that they will no longer buy oil from the dictator Putin, as they call him. So instead, they are going to try to cut a much more expensive deal for their own citizens' and economies with the real, absolute, Wahhabist, terror-spawning, journalist-chopping dictators of Saudi Arabia and the UAE. India is thus another beneficiary because it has big refineries that can process Russian crude, turning it into diesel, some of which will likely end up in Europe, even if the oil came from Russia. So the EU will end up buying Russian oil anyway, just more expensively. Such is the cost to the EU citizens of their technocratic elite's impotent, self-defeating outrage. An economic mass suicide pact out of geopolitical spite. Well, you enjoy the next time you're filling up your car.